Hey guys, this is my full review of Codename Sammy on the GSM Galaxy Nexus. It may be available for other devices. But, I mean, it is available on the Nexus 7, but I'm not sure if it's available on any other uh, Galaxy Nexus. You can check the forums on XDA. But you can see we're running Android 4.1.1, Codename Sammy 1.2.1. One thing to note, I did change the kernel. I am using Franco Nightly Kernel 380, I mean 283, because I had issues with the 4123 kernel. It kept messing up my phone, so I had to change it. Um, but as you can see, we're running a TouchWiz skin, and I don't know if you can hear it, but it's got like the TouchWiz uh, nature sounds, I guess they would call it. One thing to note on the launcher, I noticed that it's really buggy like you see how slow it is trying to just change app drawers but if you go to the nexus 7 no this isn't a review of the nexus 7 one but turn the brightness down for you guys but as you can oh okay i guess it's not going to show the setting there we go if we go to, we're running the same, we're running code name Sammy, but look at how much smoother it is on the Nexus 7. I don't know if it's just because of the quad core processor kicking in, but if you go to the end, it also scrolls over. It's just a lot smoother on the Nexus 7 to me. As you can see, there's really no lag, and I have a live wallpaper running in the background. So it may just be me. Oops. I'm not sure, but you can see this isn't as smooth as it was. And also you can't scroll from, like you can't uh, continuously scroll either. But anyways, let's jump into the features of this ROM. Um, as you can see, there's this ROM. I'm assuming it's kind of like ROM control, but they just put ROM. So let's go into interface. And this is where it's the most of AOKP and Cyanogen mod settings. So if we go under general, you can choose a background for notification shades, carrier label, a kill all button. So if you press that, you see there's a kill all button. Um, enable alarm icon. You can turn on the tablet UI and also the LCD density. Power menu. So when you press and hold the power button status bar that's where you can change the clock the battery icon style the signal layout the text color stuff like that and also your brightness control notification power widget this is the sign engine mod toggles which I have enabled you can see right there I have them enabled which is Wi-Fi data GPS uh, screen brightness sound and also torch this is where you can choose your buttons. Um, I think that the Cyanogen mod, they look more clean to me than the AOKP ones. But, I mean, it's just preference. And then here's the AOKP ones. More or less, you have the same options. So, under navigation bar, this is from AOKP. You can have up to seven icons at the bottom. I kept it at three because I thought it looked cleaner. It kind of matched the Galaxy S3 a little bit better with just the uh, three icons. But I mean, it's just preference. And then I also have uh, where if I press and hold recents, I get the menu. Because I, th I thought that was kind of useful. You also have the ring targets. I have Torch and I have my Twitter app. And then Google Now. You can have up to five, by the way. You can choose any apps that you want. Um, under lock screen, you can see it's got the uh, touch with nature water sound, I guess. But as you can see, you can have eight targets. I have my email, Gmail, camera, Google Now, Google Plus, Facebook, Plume, and I can just unlock it. I didn't mean to hit that. Oh, scary. But let's go back. Um, you can have a center clock, a left clock, or a right clock. I put mine in the center because I think it looks better. And also you can have the weather and your calendar. So let's jump back into settings. Let's 
for the interface and lock screen. But this, these are the things that you can enable, like slider shortcuts. You can choose how many, but you can also choose your target widget alignment. So if you choose, if you only have a one through five, which is kind of up here, the uh, lock will be down a little bit more and set it kind of in the center for the whole eight. That's one thing to note. And as I said, you can have your center clock, left clock, or you can have it on the right. So let's go back sound you can have the expanded volume panel which I think is handy so that you don't have to you know change each setting individually you, you can also have expandable where if you press a little settings icon then you it'll expand into that but I think that's just easier and then you have the usual AOKP sound settings so let's go to display under rotation this is where you can turn on the full 360 degrees rotation. As you can see, you, you can have your phone upside down, which for the Galaxy Nexus, you can use your phone upside down because of the on screen buttons. But this is also where you can rotate the lock screen. So if we lock the screen, this is where you can, which that comes in handy if you're using your phone in landscape most of the time. So let's go back. And also that's where you have volume rocker uh, wake. Under performance, this is where you can mess with your processor speeds, kernel tweaks, disable your boot animation, kernel control, voltage control. So it's kind of like set CPU, but you don't have to actually download set CPU because set CPU is a paid app. So um, profiles is a Cyanogen mod thing, which I don't use, but if you want to set up different profiles, um, also, you have quiet hours, which from say 11 p.m. at night to 6 a.m. in the morning, you can have where your phone is you, like you don't get any messages, but phone calls come through, stuff like that. And also themes. This has the uh, is the developer's Samsung esque kind of theme to it. I don't know if you can see it or not, but when you pull down the notification shade, it's got the Galaxy S3 style. So, And also we have advanced. Most of these are blacked out, but you still have a few. Um, you can mess with the colors, and that's actually it. So let's go back. There are a lot of included apps in this ROM. The first one is Astro File Manager, which I haven't used this since my LG Ally. If you guys remember that phone, it's still on Android 2.2. And they did a lot of developing with this app because it looks really good. But let's go back. So they have Astro File Manager. Let's see. The camera app is themed. Most of these apps are themed, by the way. Let's see the email. Most of these I have installed. You have Gesture Search. Where you can trade like draw letters and it'll search for the uh, like app that corresponds. We have Movie Studio. Paper Artist is kind of cool. So if we go into Paper Artist, you see it's got to load up. Again, it take a minute. Wow, that took a minute. Um, as you can see down here, we have watercolor detail stuff like that. And then if we just draw on the screen, I guess this is better with the Galaxy Note because you have the uh, uh, S Pen. So let's go back. Um, we have Playboard. Never used it before. We have Samsung Tech Tiles. Um, let's see. We have Walkman. This music player I thought looked really awesome. As you see like the stock music, actually I don't think there is a stock music player anymore. Um, but on the Play Store and stuff like that, I think this just looks a lot better. It's on mute so I don't get copyright infringement and stuff like that. And you see, I mean it, this just looks a lot better and also you can flip between uh, the uh, songs like that too. So, and that's pretty much it, guys. 
besides everything being themed you see the touch whiz weather widget flipboard and the clock widget it's a really awesome ROM I've been using it since Sunday I believe and I haven't had any issues except for the kernel related issue which I'm not blaming that on the ROM it's just my device don't like that kernel but I give this like you guys should really try this ROM out if you like touch whiz mainly because it's an awesome ROM it's fast and it actually has great battery life I'll show you guys the battery life real quick actually so if we go under battery as you can see 12 hours 22 minutes and screen on time is only in one hour and 14 minutes but I also still have 32 percent which is gonna last me through the rest of the night so I'm good on battery life that and I've been sleeping most of the day too so but anyways guys this was my full review of codename Sammy on the Galaxy Nexus make sure to look for the uh, Nexus 7 codename Sam review because I believe it has better performance on the home screen front but maybe they'll they're gonna upgrade it pretty soon which I hope because this is a pretty awesome ROM but anyways this was my review guys